When creating an information model or a data set as part of the BIM process, you wouldn't expect to have everything right from day one. As the project stages progress and proposals develop, graphical and non-graphical data builds in a shared online space known as a common data environment. The different amounts of data are known as levels of definition. A building information model contains both graphical and non-graphical information, accurately linked and clearly structured. The amount of non-graphical information developed for a given stage is termed level of information, or LOI, and the amount of graphical information developed is termed level of detail, or LOD. Both form part of the overall umbrella term, level of definition. The British Standard Guidance document PAS 1192 Part 2 details the typical requirements of each level of definition over a project's life cycle. These align with the project work stages. It explains what the information model can be relied upon for at each stage, such as coordination activities, logistics planning, programming, cost planning, the expected outputs and the required detail within the 3D representations. It's important that the expected minimum levels for each work stage are made clear from the outset of a project before you start, in the BIM execution plan and master information delivery plan, as shown here within the information delivery cycle diagram from PASL M92 part two. This will ensure the right data is available to the right people at the right time to support decision making. At the project delivery stage, this might include budget sign-offs, design approvals, planning submissions, or the issuing of completion certificates. You can find out more about levels of definition in PAS 1192 part two itself, which is a free download from the BSI at this link.